One of the first things you'll notice that is different here are these plastic strips that they use as doors. They're really good at keeping the cold out and the heat in, but they're really annoying too. the liquor aisle of RT Mart, and it's not unlike any liquor aisle you'd find in the U.S. There's a great variety of wine and other spirits. Now you're going to find something you won't find in the U.S., and that's the national drink of China, Baijiu. Let me show you. Baijiu comes in a wide variety of both taste and price ranges. You can buy a bottle for as little as 1 yuan 80, which is really just a few cents. You can also spend thousands of yuan on a beautiful quality bottle of Baijiu. And some of these bottles are genuine, true works of art. Chinese supermarkets have a lot of the same things you'll find in American supermarkets as well. There's breads, there's rolls, there's specialty breads, and there's their version of Wonder Bread as well. Good friend Ma Jing Hong. Hello. She also goes by the name Natalie. And she's going to help explain some of the things that we'll find here. So, my first question, Natalie, is what the heck are we looking at? Okay, this thing we call a sea cucumber. It's, it just looks like a cucumber, right? <laughs> and, well, I don't usually eat it, but maybe some only once a month and we cook it with a soup so it's like it's nutri nutritious that nutrition that's yeah. yeah so yeah we mainly cook it with food it tastes like soft meat but well I don't like it <laughs>
Okay, Natalie, I've got to know, what are these things? Okay, this is called silkworm pupa, and it's like it's really popular in Chinese dishes, and it's like in my family, my mom usually cook that. What two items are we looking at here? Okay, these are like these are chilies, and because you, yeah, we usually cook with the chilies, add them to just add some flavor to the dish. And that one, I'll call it like uh, the spicy stick, although it doesn't look like a stick, but I still call it like that. Okay, this is mantle, and it's like, it's like bread, because like in the past when people just are poor and they don't have enough money and they will make some of this and but nowadays because uh, I like this too because like they make it in different flavors I use different materials so it just tastes different and it just goes well with anything so here we have some specialty boxes of sea cucumber and um, they're pretty expensive. And Natalie, why are these so much more expensive? Well, um, I have no idea, but maybe just because they're smaller and people used to give them just as presents to their relatives or friends, so yeah, they want to make it expensive. <laughs> And this here is 7,800 yuan, that's about $1,100. And how much do you get for $1,100? Uh, it's like half of the kilo, we call it like one jin. One jin, that's Yeah, it's half of the kilo. So that's about one pound. Yeah. Uh, some special types of like frozen meat that you can make it to just make a whole thing hot at home. So yeah, we should buy them. This is a rack of drying fish, and one thing that's missing from this video is the smell. And I can say I'm ready to leave this aisle. What in the heck is this? <laughs> well, I have no idea. I've never had this before. <laughs> really? Um, and you tried to translate this. What did you come up with? Okay. Well, we'll just say unknown food. <laughs> and of course, you can't be in an Asian supermarket without the rice aisle. So I don't know what this is, but Natalie looked it up and it gets translated as laver. No idea. And of course they have the Altair laver and don't forget the pure organic laver. Like at any checkout stand, you've got your last minute impulse buys like gum, and then um, don't forget your condoms. So we decided to check out with one item. I can't pass up trying a little by Joe. See what happens.